morning with Child of Science Kid here and happy celebration of the Earth's rotation. And I just wanted to explain about how the Earth rotates seasons and how we have a happy new year. So first of all, let's rotate this board so that it looks more like the canvas of our universe. So first of all, let's Let's forget the fact that this board should be expanding three times faster than a rocket engine. So, <laughs> let's draw our sun. Trace this path of orbit. This will be only the Earth, not the entire solar system. And then now, we draw our Earth. or my Smartopian depiction of the Earth. So anyway, this would be our Earth rotating our sun, which is actually much bigger, so let's do this. So, first of all, let's take into account that our Earth is tilted at a 23.5 angle, perpen, angle relative to the straight, straight axis that it would be rotating if it didn't get hit by a celestial body in its early formation. So, anyway, yeah, throughout the year, it orbits the sun while also rotating on that 23.5 degree axis. So right here, our northern hemisphere, which would be right here, I'm gonna try and draw Australia and all the other stuff. And there are some parts that are on the other side of the world that we'll see. So anyway, let's see. So our northern hemisphere and our western hemisphere is separated by the equator and also day and night is separated by a vertical line, the prime meridian, or the date line, where, where here would be day and here would be night. So basically, that is why places like Thailand, where one of my friends Felix lives, and China would celebrate because there would be parts that are here, meaning it's already basically midnight and 2025 there. While over here, we're still in day waiting for that moment of 2025. So anyway, while our Earth spins, we, we experience different seasons. The Northern Hemisphere that is closer to the sun gets more direct sunlight. So the sun is radiating out light. And right here, our northern hemisphere gets direct light, while our southern hemisphere is getting partial light because it's farther. So our southern hemisphere is colder and experiencing winter, while this part will be experiencing summer. Right here where they're kinda, kinda getting it mixed would be the, would be those seasons that are like intermediate, like fall and spring, where we're kind of transitioning. So yeah, now we would see things like Africa at the back of the earth and, and Europe. <laughs> so yeah, and here, let's say that this is its original position. So our earth is rotating and getting different seasons, but once it's completed a full rotation, we get back to our original place. And that is 300, and, and that takes approximately 365.24 days. So to know how to calculate how many seconds are in a year, we're gonna need this information. So in 60 seconds, we get a minute. In 60 minutes, we get an hour. In 24 hours, we get a day. In 365.24 days, we get one year. And 
we need to multiply 60 by 60 by 24 times 365, which gives us, which um, actually gives us 31,536,000. And that is the science of how many seconds are in a year. And we can also simplify that to this equation. Simplify, or actually, 86,400 seconds times 365 equals 31 million five hundred thirty six hundred thousand. So the weird thing about years is that humans just took the Earth moving around a giant ball of incandescent, incandescent superheated nuclear fusing gas, and took this ball of rock with water and plants and random and random brains encased in bone mech with meat suits around them and and skin armor and just took it as a year and then now when the earth moves around this ball of gas that's shining we took it as yay let's celebrate amazing right society is so weird anyway bye and keep on sciencing